Welcome to this short demonstration of the Wireless Things Open Pi uh, using resin to push software to the device. The Open Pi is a new open source wireless device. Uh, it can be used for a number of purposes. Here it's being used as a Internet of Things hub. It's based on the Raspberry Pi compute module. It also features a Wireless Things SRF wireless module. It can be used to uh, receive and send data to a range of wireless sensors and actuators using whatever you've got set up on the Open Pi. The Open Pi includes a dual USB socket that uh, includes the Wi Fi dongle, uh, includes real time clock and onboard temperature sensor. It includes HDMI socket so you can actually connect it up to your TV if you uh, wanted to use it as a media center. To get started with the resin, uh, point your browser at resin.io and follow their handy getting started guide. Once you follow the setup guide you should then be able to create your own applications. In this case, we've entered our application name and selected the Raspberry Pi. Once your application has been created, you can click on it, name, and you should see a screen like this, allowing you to download the initial image to your device. You have the option of using either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. In this case, we're going to use Wi-Fi because that's all that's available on the uh, Open Pi. We're going to be using the programming socket on the Open Pi, so we'll actually need to remove it from its case by undoing the four screws and carefully unclipping the um, antenna connector. Once it's removed, you can then plug in a USB to uh, micro USB cable. The other end of the cable is connected into another Raspberry Pi. This one has the RPI boot software loaded. Uh, instructions are available from the Raspberry Pi site uh, on the compute module page. Basically, the uh, compute module then appears as a device slash dev slash SDA in this case. And we can then proceed to format the device and copy the software. The device was partitioned, formatted as a fat drive and then it was mounted under the MNT uh, mount point. Once you have the uh, eMMC flash on the uh, compute module formatted and partitioned, it's ready to copy all the, uh, the contents of the downloaded zip file onto it. In the case of this compute module, we had to make a few changes. Uh, this was basically because it wouldn't work as it was delivered originally. Um, but apparently these, these are going to be fixed in later revisions of the uh, resin downloadable image. After removing the uh, programming cable, uh, unplugging the power, replugging the power, after about 10-15 minutes you should see the, uh, the device appear on the uh, resin dashboard. Clicking on the device name will give you a uh, more information on the particular device, including its local network IP addresses. To create the application, in this case it's an instance of Node-RED, uh, we've got to create a depths.h file, which is basically a series of instructions to uh, tell the Docker build system how to create an image for this uh, OpenPy running Node-RED. This is packaged up and you do a git push, which basically instructs the resin system to build the image and then push it out to uh, any devices on this particular application. More building instructions. When it's finally finished, you should see a prancing unicorn. Looking again at the resin dashboard for the particular device, you should see every so often it is start saying it's checking for updates. This is it going off looking for uh, new code pushers. 
when it sees an update, you should start seeing it uh, updating, downloading the code ready to run. Alternatively, if you have multiple devices, you can uh, see the progress of each one connected on the uh, application dashboard screen. If you go into an individual device, you can click on the logs tab and uh, it will show you basically what's happening on the device at that time. Now our application is installed, we'll basically go to the IP address that was shown on the dashboard, uh, port 1880, which is the node red port, and we can uh, start creating some flows. That's it. Thank you for watching.